And welcome back guys. So I'm over here playing some Rust. I've been playing it for about maybe a week now. And I've been trying out this new group that I'm playing with on Rust here. Here's the guy called the Blacken that had the idea, hey, yeah, let's go try playing as a group. And then there's this player called Kiki over here. Now it's the same base design that I usually do. It's only probably like maybe three or four squares longer than normal. Um, Usually I do like a 8x8 brick base on a PV server, so let's go ahead and count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is usually where... Oh, that is actually shorter than that, surprisingly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I added just 2 on... So it's usually 6x6. Six six. Yeah. It's great to be doing the correction on the go. Alright, and I know I definitely went by three this way because we need more space. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's eight this way, so usually it's a six by six. Alrighty, so what have I been doing? Well, I've been trying out the group, making sure, you know, if I was to record video of, hey, this is how we started. Uh, this is how our gameplay went, you know, making sure it's YouTube appropriate, making sure they're not swearing, making sure they're not cursing, you know, things like that. You have to sit there, if you're going to join a team, you got to get to know them, make sure they're going to behave, you know, make sure that they're okay with it, you know, things like that. So, that's what I've been doing for a week. <laughs> Got back into playing Rust, I'm like, ooh, there's the Frontier skin? Ooh, look at this, the Brutalist Pack, which is a skin pack that you can put on building materials now. So, this foundation's usually a different skin. Uh, on the server, they lifted the planter limit. So, I'm about to build a pretty decent sized farm here. So, next wipe, we're going to do a pier, otherwise known as a dock for the tugboat. And we're going to do this little base over here. And then on the left, picture that farm base there being right up to the seam here. I'd probably make the roadway probably three wide just so it's easy to turn around the car. And this way you can get up and down it without bumping the crap. But uh, just kind of picture that building being up to here and going down that way. And then picture the furnaces probably being either on the other side of the building over there in the back or behind the garden base or farm base. And the sniper tower being back there. Just kind of picture it from that point of view that these are not here and that's right up against the roadway. Alrighty. So what are we going to show next? We're going to show the sniper tower. It's a standard sniper tower slash heli tower. Uh, this is our drop box for the tugboat. So when we fill up the tugboat with random amounts of crap or farm, we can just depot it in this box and it goes on down there. Unfortunately, that system was damaged in the last heli attack that they um, took heli. Hmm. Got our handy dandy tugboat and we're in some deep water at this point. It's a real pain in the ass to unbeach a tugboat in this game once it's beached on the land. It doesn't seem like it. It is a real pain in the ass. Alright, so, I've already showed you inside that little base, and that base, but I'll show you inside here. So, we got our handy dandy Pookie Bear. So this is usually where the shops would go, but we didn't want to put shops over here this time. Next wipe we will. We've got our auto sorter box, so if I put something in here, so let me go find a component. So, let's say there's nine components here. All right, let's go ahead and drop this into the box. This is now gonna be moved somewhere else. Oh, there it goes. And where did you go? Ah, there you go. So you can see, it literally moved from that box over there and was auto-sorted into here. Now, how the hell is this possible? Well. You see this right here? That's a conveyor, which goes all the way up here and comes out here. It's confusing as shit. Alrighty. 
So, yeah, pretty much if I go put stone in over in the box over there, it's going to come through one of these conveyors, and then it's going to get sorted through a pipe. So, come on down here and go into the stone box. So, let's kind of demonstrate here. Like, how does this work? Oh. Put that in there for a second. And there we go. Got this one currently pushing through uh, stone. Which then this pipeline goes over this wing, goes up here, comes over here, goes through here, goes through here, goes back this way, goes this way, then it comes down here and pushes in here. Which then auto sorts into these individual boxes, which, like I said, very complex system. Uh, I'm just going to let the electrician person do the work on not doing that. <laughs> um. So I'm playing on a server where they disabled the tech tree. It's definitely reminded me of the Rust Legacy days. I don't know if they're going to have it disabled in text wipe. Uh, I do know they broke the wipe cycle into, because usually this is a month uh, wipe server. It only, usually only will wipe when it's a month. But there's four Friday, there's five Fridays in this month. So it's like, okay, I guess we're breaking the wipe schedule into two week wipes which is not bad i still prefer an astral week but eh, it's whatever anyway it's supposed to be a roleplay server i haven't seen much roleplay on the server i've seen a lot of pvpers that are trying to turn a roleplay server into a pvp server and i just kind of look at it like okay if i wanted pvp i could have gone to a rest official server why are there pvpers trying to encourage more vp v, or pvp on a roleplay server on a PvE server. So I like to start off on PvE servers to get warmed up with, you know, playing Rust. It's one less thing to worry about. Oh, someone's going to come over and down me while I'm trying to build or do electrical, you know. It's uh, distasteful. I'm trying to get back into wanting to play Rust, you know. So, today is Tuesday. The new thing they're doing on Tuesday is it's called Purge Night Part 1, where kill on sites allowed where uh, what is uh, what is KOS KOS is kill on site so usually on roleplay servers they won't allow you to shoot a player and allow you to take their shit on when they lift those rules it's known as purge night one so that's simple answer oh my god there's so much charcoal Here's our little electrical room. Not much in it. Damn hell, he's coming over. Literally flies right over the base. Hilly. Hilly, hilly, hilly. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. You see me? Hey. Uh, we took all our crap guns, like, you know, the tier 1 guns, and stuck them on the wall. Why not? It's clogging up the boxes. Makes sense, right? Alrighty. So, we've got our... Usually this is closed off. Usually I have like vending machines in the front there. But I decided to put another car bay in and make it so you can bring in a helicopter. So how much can this farm back here actually produce in cloth or berries? Well, seeing I got 386 a planter, and how many planters are there? Uh, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three by eight. So three times eight equals 24. 386 times 24, I get close to 9,264 cloth. Probably even more than that though. That doesn't sound right. Um, so let me redo my math here because we're thinking one berry per thing. Six, seven, eight. Eight. 
a anyways, it's a crap ton. That's all you need to know, you know. Uh, so, the last time I harvest cloth out of here, I think I gathered close to like four or five thousand. And you have to wait an hour. Crazy stuff. But either way, yeah. A lot of cloth. So, if this is the size of this farm here, can you imagine when the other one's operational? Of how much crap I will be harvesting out of that? Holy shit, I'm gonna need multiple horse farms. I'm gonna need multiple crop farms just to produce enough solid ground for it to grow out of. I know you're looking at me, that's nasty. That's true. So now, I'm gonna go stick my rad suit in the car here. And we're gonna go over to the other base that's away from the noisy chopper. And show you the other base. Tomorrow, I, tomorrow's approach day, so I don't really care too much. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure people are going to pop into this base first. So why do I think that? Well, there's a group on this server called MM, otherwise known as Ren. Remember when I first put an RP town in here and I did like three grids worth of RP town? Yeah. Anyways, I started selling teas out of the shop on day three, and I sell them for a hundred scrap each. And I noticed that the MMM group started selling their teas at 175, and I looked at them like, really? And then they dropped them down to 90, and they started undercutting my prices, so I kept dropping mine by 10 every time they went down and dropped theirs. And in the end, it ended up in a large argument of... Well, we only dropped our prices because we dropped it to match yours. And I'm like, and I dropped mine to match yours. So, I think they've proven that I shouldn't even bother joining their group. I uh, was considering maybe trying out joining their group. But based on having one of them come over and go, I'll stop complaining. It sounds really toxic. Anyway, so I'm just going to take a quick look in here. See if I've made anything. Wow. People really like this stuff. I swear I'm the only vendor selling embracers at the moment. So this server is currently going for new staff changes, meaning there's new moderators, there's a new owner of the server, yeah, that kind of stuff. Um. So, what's been dealing up with the rest of my time when I'm not doing this? So, let's go through the base, and I'll talk about that in a second. So, we got a nice little farm base. Don't have the lights on. Uh, we've got everything set up. Usually, I have more... Uh, what do you want to call them here? Usually, I have more mixing tables, but I got rid of them because I wanted to put traps in. The noisy chopper. I went to this side of the map to escape the noise from the noisy chopper. Not today. Still nothing. I'm trying to get tarp, I'm trying to build my farm out before wipe. I just want to make sure it's going to work out. Alright. So, what have I been up to? Because I have not been producing videos on the channel for about, I think I haven't produced videos on the channel for two weeks. I could be wrong about that. Uh, so, what have I been doing? Well, I've been doing this for a week. Getting another group that I joined. And then, you've got viewer chat updating to new version of Unity. Which makes every world creator update their worlds to the new version of Unity. I believe it came from 2019.4 version of Unity. Where they're upgrading to 2022 version of Unity. But I could be wrong about that. I physically have to go look again. But yeah, I'm getting ready to upgrade my world projects that I have for Viewer. Up, upgrade them from 2019.4 to 2022 version of Unity, so yeah, we know stuff's gonna break in those maps. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I've been working on a map called Club Snowflake for over a month. I uh, got really pissed at them today when they announced that they're talking about deleting their server. Uh, the owners just can't handle stress very well, I don't think. And thank God someone talked them out of doing that and just allowed someone else to run the club for them. Because I would have been really pissed spending a month of time fixing a map that, you know, you're fixing this for someone for free. And they're just going to toss everything out the window and leave you like, hey, yeah, we're not going to run a club anymore. Like, the fuck, man? But you kind of see it from my point of view. Anyways, so I was dealing with that. Anyone else getting sick for a week or two? It's just, it's not even COVID related. I also got hit with that as well. So, you're all on the same page, what's going on with me. I'm not, not going to do too much raw stuff here. I'm just going to show what was built this wipe. Um, as you can see, there's a day before it wipes again. Meaning, Wednesday, tomorrow at 8pm Eastern Standard Time. Part 2 of the purge will happen where people can pop into your base and take your stuff for 24 hours. And then when the server update hits, they lose all that crap. So I, you kind of see it from my point of view. I don't really see it, the point of pop or writing into people's bases when you're not going to be able to hang on to the stuff very long, you know? Uh, you see it from this perspective, like, what's the point of writing into a person's base? I could understand seeing what the layout was. Okay, that's interesting. Or maybe you want to Right in to steal their raid supplies so you can continue raiding bases. But, you know, it got to a point on a wipe cycle that there was so much raid supplies and not enough bases to pop into. It just kind of like, okay, we raided everything. What do we do now? And you've got boxes of raid supplies. And it's like, well, this is not very enjoyable. Like, I could understand if you're just curious of what people had in their bases, but still, you kind of see it from my point of view. It's like a purge event should be happening on servers that are like very high pop. This way, so good example would be like Rossi Empires. They're a very high pop server, and it should be reserved to servers that, you know are overcapped and have lots of people, so let's say someone pissed them off during Purge on a roleplay server, at least they can get some revenge during the Purge, right? On here, there's a large group that likes to poke everyone, and they'll just foundation, foundation wipe your base, just because they can. And you just see it from this point of view, why would you want to stay on a server? If you allow a purge to happen and you allow these people to foundation wipe a base or grief it, yeah, that would drive some people from the server. So they definitely should put in the purge rules that you're not allowed to grief the person's base after raiding into it. You're allowed to pop a door or a wall, that's fine, but completely foundation wiping it, that would definitely drive some people off the server. Uh, I witnessed it, witnessed that when I was reviewing the group known as Nut when I was thinking about joining them. And it's the same group, just a different name. But anyways, I want to give you guys a little update of what I've been up to. This is what I've been up to. Hopefully this was enjoyable to see what was built this wipe. Even though it, what, you didn't get to see me physically build it, at least you got to see what was built this wipe. At least you know that I'm looking into a group that I've joined. And we'll see how it goes playing it by ear. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.